to the other one. faith, stepping forward to be obedient to you, and make a proclamation and identify with you, so that you help them, that you give us grace, you might be with us, that we might point people to you, in Jesus' name. When I feel lost in the dark, and all of these fears surround my heart, I know you see me, I feel you're with me, Jesus, you Hi everyone. Hi. <laughs> I'm here today because I'm a new person. Changed because Jesus is my savior. There's bar barely a moment in the day that I'm not thanking him for saving me, bringing me to know him, to love him and share his word. I asked God one day, if you're real, show me. And he did. He showed me in a way a father would show his sassy child. In that moment, he spoke to me and whispered in my ear, quieting everything and everyone around me. I was shown that everything I ever doubted was for naught. He was always there guiding me, loving me, and I'm not the person I was. And I thank God every day for that and only want to glorify him. I love you all. You are my family. Thank you for being here with us. Renee, you are a new creation in Christ Jesus. All the things that are old are gone, and behold, all things are new. In accordance with your faith, we're going to baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My speech is a little longer. <laughs> Five years ago, in a time of searching and uncertainty, I asked the Lord for truth. For almost a year, he guided me through various paths of information until I found solid ground in his word. Over the past four years, by God's grace and guidance of his Holy Spirit, I have devoted myself to studying the scriptures. This journey has deepened my understanding and strengthened my faith. Less than a year ago, feeling the need for fellowship and spiritual growth, I prayed for a place where I could be nurtured and edified. The Lord answered my prayer and led me to Grace Bible Fellowship. Today, I stand here ready to be baptized with a wonderful <laughs> wife, my wonderful wife Renee, by my side. It's an incredible blessing to share this moment with her and with all of you, my church family. I'm, <clears throat> I'm immensely grateful to the Lord for bringing me to this church and for the opportunity to meet such wonderful brothers and sisters in Christ. Your support and fellowship have been truly a blessing in my life and both of our lives. Thank you all for being here to witness this amazing moment in my life. I'm excited about the future of what the Lord has in store for us. May we all continue to grow together in faith and love, supporting and encouraging one another as we walk with Christ. Peter, it's a blessing to see the Lord save you and to continue saving you and to see your growth. It's definitely a, a very welcome addition here. You're very well loved, not only by us, but by the Lord. 
It's, uh, it's our pleasure to be here today. In accordance with your testimony about Jesus Christ, identifying with His birth, His life, His death, and His resurrection, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Larry Mojaleski. All ready. Larry. Larry. It's been a long journey for me. I've been Catholic for 70, over 70 years, and my two sons have been after me to come to Jesus and. I finally, over a year ago, came to faith here, and um, people are just loving. It's so much different than what I've been used to, and and I've learned learned that what they taught me in the Catholic Church was so they just didn't teach me about Jesus, they taught me differently. And Pastor Dave is such a great teacher. And I'm learning about the Bible now. And you, you are amazing. And the entire church here is amazing. You just want me to drown you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's been a great awakening and and to know Jesus now is, is it just changed me. And my family knows it. They they talk about how different I am. Amen. Thank you, Larry. In accordance with your faith and your testimony about Jesus Christ, we baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Maureen Mojaleski. My name is Maureen. Um, I grew up Catholic my whole life and um, just went to church and that's all I did. I went to church and then I left and that was that was enough for me for the week and um, I know my children have been praying for us and finally I was feeling so lost and now I don't feel that way anymore and, um, I'm just happy to be here everybody's been so wonderful and so caring and teaching and um, I was I think when I first came I was uh, I, I think I was ashamed that I didn't know anything about the Bible, but we didn't, we never learned anything. And I, I don't think I ever, ever picked up the Bible. And now it's so different. Everybody's so good and so loving. And um, I'm so happy to be here. Amen. Amen. In accordance with your faith in Jesus Christ as your Savior and identifying with his life, his death, his resurrection, we baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Noah Mojaleski. Yeah. There's nothing that we can do to be good enough for God to accept us and put our faith in the finished work of Jesus Christ is what Noah has discovered. And today he's obedient to the Lord in baptism. Noah, in accordance with your faith and your testimony about Jesus Christ, we baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Anyone else has placed their faith in Jesus Christ and wishes to identify with his resurrection? Ken! Everything's out of my pocket. I'm like a little cooter today. I'm in the background. I'm going to ad lib some of this stuff that I wrote. It took me, t oh yes, yeah, between last night and tonight, I must have rewritten this four times. First of all, I want to say hi to all my brothers and sisters and Pastor Dave. Uh, and I want to thank the church for welcoming me with open arms here. This is family to me. Uh, the Lord led me here through prayers from, from the, this people in the congregation as well as my family here. <clears throat> I don't speak eloquently and sometimes not clearly enough uh, due to some medical issues, nor out loud enough for people to hear me. I isn't a favorite word of mine to use. My preference is we, which I include I as part of we, of which I now use send this message here. So I'm going to use the word we a little bit. Okay. We have rewritten our message of confession and believe three times. We are a sinner and fall short of the glory of God. I was raised Catholic, became Methodist, became Christian, and now I'm Christian. I follow Jesus Christ. I was not, I was not the Christian father or husband or spiritual leader in my house. But I can share that with each and every one of you. And if anyone wants to talk to me on a one-to-one -one basis, I'm here to minister to you and help you. Amen. Well, well, good. Heavenly Father God, we come humbly before you and this congregation and confess we have accepted your son Jesus Christ as our personal Savior and only you, God. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. As sometimes I have my heart right in my doctor's handwriting. As being baptized in this water, we again confess our faith in you, and only you, God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Okay. When it's time, you can grab your notes. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. You're going to grab your notes. Sure. Grab your notes. Grab your notes. Yeah. Grab your notes. There you go. Okay, that's what it's going to be like. Okay. Okay. Fine. Well, I'm sorry. When I come back, I'm going to renewed in my faith. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Ken is being obedient to the Lord and going down into the waters of baptism, being obedient to Jesus Christ in accordance with your faith and your testimony. It is our pleasure for we to baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I just love everybody here. You've all been a blessing to me. And I want to I want to get to know each and every one of you more. You follow me? And I'm just doing the work of the Lord that He's called me upon. And I encourage each and every one of you to pray on what God wants you to lead you into. What ministry He wants you to do. In my particular case right now, it's on one to one with strangers. I can talk much better in a person than in crowds, but unfortunately God is using me right now to pre preach loud aloud. And, I, and he's taken me further. It's been a long road for me. And he knew where I would be. My sorrow with my wife was not here to see. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Baptism in the scripture is something that we do in obedience to what God has done for us in identifying with Christ. And these have identified with Christ at some point earlier. If you don't know Him as Savior, please, please talk to one of us. We would love to explain it to you if you don't understand it. And we would love to pray with you. So if there's anything that we can do, let us know. And uh, let me pray. Father, thank you so much for the privilege and the honor of being able to be here, your people in your place, doing your things. I pray that you give us strength and wisdom, Lord, as we go, that we might do those things that please you. We thank you for the honor of dying for us, Lord, that we might follow you. Help us to do it with all of our heart. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. amen.